Selecting a new dog. When selecting a new dog to take home, there are many things to think about and to take into consideration. For instance, the biggest question to ask yourself is why you want a dog. Do you have children who have been begging you for one? Or have you decided you need a dog outside to warn of intruders? Maybe you had one as a child and you missed the companionship the dog gave you. For whatever reason, dogs can bring families closer and leave you with a sense of fulfillment. However, you should know that not all dogs are good for every situation. If you are selecting a new dog for your children, think about starting with a puppy. Puppies are more sociable and adaptable, and you will get to train them according to your needs. In addition, there is nothing quite as satisfying as watching your new puppy grow up alongside your kids. Next, you will need to decide on male or female when selecting your new dog. Remember that males tend to be bigger in stature than females, who stay relatively more petite. Males are also more dominant and aggressive in certain breeds. Temperament should also be checked when selecting a new dog. To do this, simply hold the dog in your arms and tip him on his back if size allows it. If he struggles consistently, this may mean he will take more patience in training. If he lays there genuinely calm, you can be rest assured he's mild-tempered and will be easy to work with. In addition, clap your hands or make other loud or sudden movements. A mild-tempered dog will look curiously at you, while a shy or nervous dog will be startled or shy away. It's important to always research the breeds you're looking at when selecting a new dog. Make sure you're going to have time to care for whichever one you choose. Depending on the breed, he may need more exercise, training, or special climate. For example, a Cocker Spaniel will take a lot of grooming time and expense because of his luxurious coat. Although selecting a new dog may seem like a no-brainer, you need to carefully consider the place that you will purchase your dog from. If dealing with a breeder, be sure that he or she is respectable and dedicated to the standard of breeding itself and not just in it for the money. Some breeders truly care about their dogs, while others simply don't, and that means that the puppy may not be socialized, or might have been treated roughly or poorly. If you're going to buy a dog from the pet store, it's a good idea to ask around or make phone calls to the other families who've bought from the same pet store. Whether you're looking for a big or a small dog for your family, if you include thought and common sense in selecting your new dog, you should be able to find the perfect one for you. Your new dog will offer you a lasting, loving relationship that is sure to be fulfilling for all of you.